everybody and welcome back to another episode of City Skylines here on Potato Head Plays and we're here back in our currently unnamed city but we're going to be naming it today so that's going to be one of the first things we do and in this episode we're actually going to expand on that and really give the city its kind of raison d'etre, its reason to be because really we're just a city up in a hill at the moment with nothing around there's no real re identity to the city no real reason for it to be there so that's what we're going to focus on we're going to give it a bit of personality and yeah so without further ado we're going to have a, a quick look here and you can see currently we're still called west valley so we're going to change that and i'm going to call the city Burnaton which Burner means bear and Tarn is a lake just like that on top of a mountain and we saw that bear in here somewhere he's not there at the moment but I like that it basically means bear lake so that's cool and then before we do anything else look we've got a few problems here not enough educated workers buildings being abandoned because education levels were too low so let's just have a quick look elementary ugh, not quite enough but we're okay but we don't have any high school capacity so we're going to do some investment so I'm going to budge the budget up and then this space here looks perfect to me for a high school because I don't want to just chuck down the high school asset like you can do and leave it that works fine but I feel like in a town of this size the high school would be a really important area it would be open in the evenings to different communities clubs sports whether that's junior clubs or you know maybe there would be a gym that would be open to the public as well um, and you know that's how they would get their funding would be by opening up to the public so I'm going to place this park just behind it and that's going to be kind of the square where the students sit and have their lunch when it's not minus 20 degrees out or whatever it is and we'll link it up with a path here and some few trees and then we're also going to add a few more bits to it so we're going to look at this as this is going to be kind of a turnaround loop and then we're going to connect this up just up here so we're not going to connect it up to the main highway there's or collector roads there's no need for that and then this road will kind of mirror that road above it along and then connect up down here and we'll definitely add some walking path connections through here so that students can walk to school because that's what we like to see people walk into school um, and we don't have the road connectivity so this this is great this will give them a fast quick safe access to to walking to school which we like to see we'll do a couple of connections and again we've got a bit of dead space kind of between the zoning areas there so we'll probably link some of these up eventually this path will link down to the main road so that if we ever develop on the other side of the road there's some kind of connection there and then water pipes under the road where they belong and that will start to develop and function and people will be really happy with that straight away but we're not done there there's plenty more we can still do so it's a school we're going to fence it off and often schools have these quite ugly kind of fences with the spikes on which is the oil industry fence in the game so we're going to do that but not along the front so we're going to run along the back and the sides we're going to have this spiky fence which stops students getting out and people getting in, in in the evening but along the front we want the school to look nice and accommodating so we're going to use this fancy park fence which will go in along here along the middle here and then we'll just join it up on the other side as well and already you can see people turning up to go to school so that's really good and then what else can we add in so we'll add a few more trees along here just to kind of give it a bit of personality shape the area a little bit that can go all the way up to the top and then what other assets can we add in so what i'd love to add in is this sports hall and gymnasium because you know a lot of schools would have this as a separate building and again it would it would contribute to the community in the in the evening um i know at my school in the evening they would do like indoor football for people um, there'd be like martial arts sometimes going on in there for, for adults and school people so it's an asset to the community having this in there so it needs to be against a road unfortunately so we'll add that road in there and put our path back in and those trees we just deleted and then i can't afford that yet and it's 120,000, so we're a long way off being able to afford that but look there's a really nice space for it just here so we'll put that in there but let's see what else we can put in in this area and i'm wondering if maybe yeah this snowman park will go nice across here again it's just another place for the kids to hang out but I think this skating rink could be a really good asset to put in over here. Oh, not there. No, nope, that's wrong. Let's delete that and try again. 
if we put it in over here and again you know that would be something that on the weekends and evenings maybe peewee hockey goes on along there maybe figure skating classes you know it's something that the community can use the school can use that's kind of like in our imagination but in the game it's a park it adds to the land value and, and citizen happiness so it's a win-win and you can see already this is starting to take a nice shape as a school much better than just chucking down that asset I'm going to add a bit of vegetation in here just to make it feel a bit more alive and along there on the back here too maybe actually I'm going to put in some some benches you know sit here and have some have their lunches or whatever pretty cool pretty I like that and then what else do we have there's some kind of yeah maybe a couple of these circle ones just here for now but they'll go when we do eventually afford the um the gym so yeah i'm pretty pleased with that pretty pleased with how that's looking and it's kind of you can see it's kind of a a feature of the town now a feature of the community not just a random school plonked down so that's good any more landscaping we can do you know really we, we really want the front of the school to look nice and attractive looks like you know you're dropping your kids off there for the day yeah i like that so that's great we've left a bit of space at the back here for when we do upgrade that road and then like i said we'll connect up some of this dead space at the back for some walking paths as well because what else are we going to do with that area maybe along here and yeah one more connection just up there why not we can squeeze that between those houses so that's all good and then i think the zoning you would expect to see here is mostly residential we've got huge residential demand so we'll do it i'm actually just going to delete a couple of these pop in a few shops maybe that's where the students go and get their lunch um, or you know it's just a corner shop for local residents that kind of thing but yeah generally it's mostly going to be residential zoning so that's got more than enough high school and we're just going to name it the Bernatan high school because you know i want to try and stay on top of naming these things we'll call this burner rock because it's just by the rock there um, and yeah i want to start try and stay on top of naming these things so that each kind of area has its own own personality so then we need to decide where we're going to put in another elementary school and i think down here we can detail it in a similar way we did the last one eventually i'm not going to do that right now but yeah i think there's a nice space we can put a playground in the back or something there for the students and yeah that's really nice so another problem garbage seems to be piling up we've only got this one landfill at the moment i'm going to try and move away from landfills and start using recycling centers so we'll just pop one in for now because i'm a bit low on money but i think that's good and then yeah we'll we'll wait and see what happens but what i do want to do is introduce a naming convention for the streets as well in the interest of giving the city a bit of personality and because we're in a snowy place um rural snowy place i've lived in places a bit like this in canada so i'm just going to make sure my settings are all right and display road names are on excellent yeah i've lived in rural places like this in canada and often places like this will be named after cities so we're going to call this road calgary hill and then maybe this road here that comes up yeah we're going to call it vancouver climb Oops, vancouver climb and this one over here we'll call it like toronto approach so yeah i'm gonna name all of these cities all of these streets after cities in canada because that's just what i want to do and that's just going to be for this area i'll try and stay on top of it but maybe as we go to different areas we can introduce different naming conventions and yeah i'm just going to make sure the streets make sense all we'll have a cool name and they'll have a bit of personality that will really add to you know in my mind it makes the city feel alive so it's not the most thrilling watch We've actually, it seems like we've got a bit of death care problems there and we don't have, and that building's abandoned. So we need to make sure we've got death care. So let's add that in before we get too much into it. We've only got the cemetery and this seems like a really nice space right here. And actually I think what I want to do is maybe orient it kind of facing towards the main road so that people driving past the, the, the city, driving through the city, I feel like you often see cemeteries in this kind of location. So we're going to do that and it will also have an amazing view kind of back off the bottom of the screen here you've got the view towards the mountains and everything so i think that's really nice we can make a bit of a feature out of this area so sorry mr shop who's just built but we're going to connect that up there this can connect into the, the main road i think that'll work nicely and then footpath across the back of course just to 
that makes pedestrian access to the school again, maybe. Um, so yeah, that's really good. And then we'll add a bit of detailing in, a few shops. Oh, excellent, the park's leveled up, so we'll get round to that at some point. But we'll add water pipes under the road where they belong. And then a few details. Oh, it's night time again. Look, you can see how alive the city is. Things are leveling up. There's lots of little arrows leveling up. Um, yeah, I'm really pleased to see that. So I'm going to get back to naming streets and then we'll finish off sorting out the new cemetery area. So this isn't going to be the most interesting watch, so I'm just going to fast forward through it and I'll catch up with you when I'm done. Okay, so that seems to be just about done. So we're gonna come back down here and just finish off this new area. So like with the school, I'm gonna add a footpath here. I just feel like any future development kind of the other side of what will be this main road eventually, it'll be nice to have that pedestrian connectivity here. And we're going into nighttime again. I feel like we're spending a lot of time in nighttime, but what it does mean is we can jump in here and grab some lights and make sure there's adequate lighting in this area because you know this is a kind of place people would visit in the evening um, after work after school go and visit some loved ones so you want to make sure it feels safe and comfortable so yeah maybe slightly overkill with the lighting there but it'll do for now and then let's see if we can find some nice plants you just want to make this area look kind of well maintained well looked after and yeah so i'm pretty pleased with that so what's next? I feel like that area has really kind of come alive along there now, which is which is excellent. We've got a snowstorm again, lots of people leveling up, which we like to see. And now we're at a point where we've got to kind of decide what our next bit of development is. So I do want to look to expand in this in this episode, but what I do want to make sure is I'm kind of finishing off this area. And I feel like one more natural place to develop would be here, kind of around the bottom of this rock. Uh, oh, we're going to delete some power lines, so I'll just pause it for now. And then actually we can probably delete all these and then connect the power up over here now. And that will be a bit of a better, better, better place to not interrupt as much. So we can delete those power lines and we should be able to press play without any worries now. But I'm just going to hook this up. And then we want to look into, again, not destroying the natural land, respecting where the trees are. So we're going to build a few cul-de-sacs, try and decide Weir's not going to damage it too much. But we'll, we'll run water pipes along here under the roads. And then again, we've just got massive, massive residential demand at the moment. So what we're going to do is just fill basically all of this in with residential. We'll add a few nodes of commercial in there as we always do, kind of along nearest the main roads here, up at the top here. But really, yeah, we're just going to paint it all in with commercial, uh, with residential try and satisfy some of that demand because what we've got planned possibly this episode possibly the next episode now um we're going to need lots of people so i want to make sure we've got plenty of citizens living in our city and yeah that's filling out nicely i'm liking that so we're gonna have a quick look at the natural resources and i think a city like this you've got to think why would it develop we said we're on top of a hill nothing around we've got bits of ore there's oil down at the bottom but what i think i want to do is build buy this tile and we're going to develop some of this ore that we can see here because i think you see towns like this kind of in the middle of nowhere and often there's a reason they started and it is something like mining they were an old mining town so i think that's the history of bernatan is it was an old mining town um, it would have started out as a few houses, a few people moved up here to mine this bit of land here. And now it's turned into a, a whole town of its own. And maybe over the years the industry has developed slightly, but we want to develop this. So I'm going to flatten an area out here in the, um, the, the, the ore land. 
where we've got the natural resources because I want to make it look like this has been going on for a long time. I don't want this to look like a new mining industry. I want to make it look like they've been chipping into the side of the mountain for a long time. And over the years, this, the town has kind of developed up on the lake nearby. So we're going to do that. And then we need to decide how we're going to connect back up with the city. So we're going to create a road here. that's going to kind of hairpin a little bit here to, to work its way back up the steeper parts of the mountain. Hairpin along here. Try and respect the topography as much as we can. That's it, work our way up through these topography lines. And then where have we got to get to? Back over that way. So stay flat there, kind of along here. Work our way down to the level of that main road. That should just about do it. And then we can connect up with the main road there. And as we expand out, expand out the town that way, that will connect to that as kind of a collector road. But this is really good. And we're back at night time again, so we can't really see much. Um, so actually, we need money to really get this industry going. Uh, we haven't got much money, but we've got lots of buildings we need to build. So I'm going to paint this industry area in so we know what we're doing. And then I think what we might just do is put it on triple speed. We'll give it a name because we're trying to stay on top of naming things. Um, and actually, whilst we're doing that, Let's not forget to give this new major street a name. So yeah, that's right. What we're gonna call this one. Let's think of another city, Mrs. Algra. We'll name it after that. I think that's how you pronounce it, which is near Toronto. And that's gonna be kind of a main road in the future. Um, that looks a bit bumpy. I wonder if we can fix that. Let's try and use this slope tool. Let's see what we can do. I'm either gonna make it worse or better so we'll see how it goes we'll kind of try and fix that in here a bit of a tight turn to there eh, maybe maybe better maybe worse we'll see we'll see how it goes um oh but we're back into daytime so i'm gonna got a bit more money as well so i'm gonna flatten out more of this which is excellent and that's really starting to take shape so i'm pleased with how that's turning out um yeah, I feel like that doesn't look too, it looks a bit silly at the moment, but oh, we've got sewage problems. So let's have a look. We are low on sewage, but I wonder if I could buy one of these tiles where we've got access to the river. To be honest, basically every other tile I could have bought just then would have got us access to the river. There's no more natural resources. No, I'm not going to do it. I don't think I'm going to do it. I'm going to... Ah. So you can see that was actually an electricity problem. As people turned the electricity on for heating, the, the sewage outlets weren't getting enough power. So that's fine. I think we're going to leave this episode here. I'm going to fix that in the next episode. As always, I'm going to leave you with a city tour right now. I hope you enjoyed this. Have a great rest of your day and I'll see you next time.